friend of mine, Mr. Tom Whitehall, share one of his recipes with me. He called them rooster cogborns. I didn't know, I have no idea what a rooster cogborn was, but he told me it was. He takes two cups of cornmeal. He chopped up an onion. Three small pieces. I think about eight inch little squares on them. Don't make them too big because they won't get done on you. <coughs> Most roosters like it when I'm out here filming. They got to holler a lot. They won't be on film too. <coughs> Alright, once you get all your onions topped up. I got some frozen sweet corn I canned last fall. I got about a cup and a half of Sweet corn I put in there. My chickens have started laying eggs, so I got one egg. I'm going to put in there too. And one teaspoon of sugar. About a half a cup of milk to get started to make sure it don't get too thin. Get all that mixed up. Oh, yeah, coming together. That's about the consistency you need right there. Just make sure you got it all mixed up good. You already got my grease getting hot right there. So I'll throw it in that real quick. Get down, Missy. You're gonna get burnt. Get down. Get down. I'm getting down on it once. That it's time to turn them over. I heard something she went after. Yes, sir, they looking good. Ah, they still cooking. I can't wait to go ahead and try one. If you get a chance, try one of these rooster cogborns. Boy, they look 
look good. Oh yeah. Mm. They're wonderful. If you get a chance, try one of them with, with sweet corn in them. They're pretty good eating. Well, that's going to be awesome with fried catfish. Yes, sir. Just like a little hush puppy. Wow. <laughs> mm. Yes, sir. That's a pretty good eating. Hey, Missy wants one. One bite. Yeah, she likes them, too. <laughs>